Hello. First of all, let me welcome you to the Charles University and to the Czech Republic. In this video, we would like to give you basic information concerning the residence legislature. The aim is to prevent you from making the most common mistakes and to help you to fulfill your duties as students and other academic staff who are coming from abroad. My name is Kateřina Kopečná and I work for a non-governmental organization called Slovo 21. In close cooperation with Ministry of Interior, Slovo 21 has been organizing courses for foreigners coming to Czech Republic and for students in particular for many years now. Check out our webpage and Facebook. Let's have a look at the topics that we will cover today. We will talk about various types of stay. I will also mention visas and residence permits. What ministry is in charge of your documents? You'll find out. We will go over your obligations in general. I will give you a list of documents that you have to always carry with you. You will learn what to do if you want to extend your stay. Working or doing business while studying is our next topic. And last but not least, I will tell you where to find reliable information and get help if needed. So let's start with coming to the Czech Republic in general. Are you planning to go to the Czech Republic or are you already staying here? The first important piece of information is whether you are an EU citizen or a third country national, which means non-EU citizen. You also need to decide how long you will stay in the Czech Republic. First, let's look at the EU citizens and their family members. If you are an EU citizen or his family member, you can move around the Schengen area freely and therefore you are also free to come to the Czech Republic. All you need is your RG card or your passport. If you want to stay here for more than three months, you can, but you do not have to apply for a temporary residence certificate. For detailed information, who is an EU citizen and his family member, check out a webpage of the Ministry of Interior. Now, let's have a look at third country nationals and talk about various types of residencies. If you opt for a short-term stay, which means under three months, you need to find out whether the Czech Republic has a visa requirement for your home country. If it does, you need to get a short-term visa up for 90 days. If there is no visa requirement for a short-term stay, you can just come and stay up to 90 days. In case you want to stay in our country for longer than 90 days, you need to arrange either a long-term visa or a long-term residence permit. Are you a third country national and are you already in the Czech Republic for longer than 90 days? In that case, I want to make sure that you understand what kind of documents you have right now. Long-term visa is a sticker in your passport with code D slash VC. Long-term residence permit is a plastic so-called biometric card with your picture. The biometric card is issued to you by the Ministry of Interior after your arrival to the Czech Republic. I will mention the process in more detail in a little bit. Long-term visa allows you to stay in the Czech Republic up to one year. If you want to stay here after that, you may, under specific circumstances, apply for a long-term residence permit. Long-term residence permit is issued up to two years. It can be extended. Both long-term visa and long-term residence permit are linked to a certain purpose of stay. Purpose of stay is basically a reason why you are in the Czech Republic. In your case, it should be studies, other or scientific research. 
check your visa or your biometric card. During your whole stay, you must prove that you comply with your purpose of stay. You can have more than one purpose of stay, so you can work or start doing business while studying, but studying must always prevail. It is possible to change your purpose of stay. If you terminate your studies or get expelled, you need to find a new school or apply for a change of your purpose of stay. If you want to reside in the Czech Republic permanently, you may apply for a permanent residence permit after five years of continuous residence in the Czech Republic. Students have to bear in mind that only half of the time spent studying in the territory counts towards their period of residence for the purpose of applying for permanent residence. Don't worry in case that you do not have any of the previously mentioned documents from the Czech Republic. There are some more specific situations concerning students. Did you come for Erasmus or other exchange programs? If you hold a long-term residence permit or a long-stay visa issued by a different member state, you may remain in the Czech Republic up to one year without needing a visa. In this case, your residence permit or long-term visa sticker bears the note student. The name of the exchange program will also be written in your permit if you hold one. Do you hold a long-term study residence issued by a different member state? You can apply for a long-term residence for the purpose of study in the Czech Republic. This must involve study on an accredited study program at a university or a language and specialized preparation for studying at an accredited university study program organized by a public university. What ministry is in charge of your documents? It is the Ministry of Interior that you go to in particular the Department for Asylum and Migration Policy. In Czech, the abbreviation OAMP is used. For detailed information on how to extend your stay and what documents you need to submit, visit official web pages of the Ministry of Interior. Find a quick link that says foreigners. And then Click on an English flag to get your information in English. Since you have to submit your application form and all the necessary attachments in person, here are some addresses to the Ministry of Interior offices. There is a special workplace just for students in Prague. Now let's have a look at your obligations in general. When you first arrive in the Czech Republic, you have to register with the foreign police if it has not been done by the accommodation provider. Both students from non-EU countries as well as students from EU countries have the same obligation. If you live in a dormitory, you should not worry about it. The dormitory will take care of this duty for you. You also do not have to worry about this duty if you have applied for a long-term residence permit. Just a reminder, that is the plastic card. The plastic card can only be issued in the Czech Republic. So you have to be able to arrive to the country first. In any case, you need to go to the Ministry of Interior office within three days upon your arrival to get your biometric card. This way, your previously mentioned notification obligation has also been fulfilled. You are obliged to provide biometric data for the biometric card and don't forget to pick up the card within 60 days. Students from both non-EU countries and also from EU countries are obliged to report changes. The changes are mainly concerning their stay in the Czech Republic, such as a change of address, a change of their travel document or family status. Also, don't forget to return your residence card before ending your stay in the Czech Republic. 
Let's have a look at documents that you have to carry on you at all times. So it is passport in case you have your long-term visa in it or if you have a biometric card, you need to carry that with you. Don't forget that you also have to have your health insurance card on you. If you have commercial health insurance, you must also have the proof of payment of the insurance on you. Are you planning on staying longer? Here are some practical tips. Mark in the calendar when you need to extend your stay. You can submit your application to extend your long-term residence at earliest 120 days and at least the last day of the validity of your residence or visa. Don't wait till the end of this period. Apply as soon as possible, preferably before holidays. You do not need to submit all the necessary documents at once. As long as you submit the application form on time, you should be okay. Don't forget to submit the rest of the documents though. The proof of medical travel insurance must cover the entire stay in the Czech Republic. Don't forget to inform the Ministry of Interior that you plan to return to your home country during the course of proceedings. You want to make sure that you do not miss any important notice concerning your application. Let me remind you again that you will find all the necessary information at the Ministry of Interior official website. What to do when you finish studying? Are you a holder of a long-term residence for the purpose of studies or scientific research and are you going to successfully complete your task soon? Are you planning on staying in the Czech Republic and looking for a job or starting your own business? In that case, you can apply for a long-term residence permit for the following purposes. Seeking employment or starting a business. Submit the application to the Ministry of Interior in person no sooner than 120 days before the end of the validity of your residence permit and no later than on the last day of its validity. This long-term residence can be issued up to nine months. Do you want to work while studying? First of all, you have to find out if you can start working right away or if you need to get a permit from authorities to do so. Here are some examples of the most common situations for students. Let's have a look if it's your case. You do not need any permit if you are EU citizen or his family member, a student in a daily form of studies in secondary school, tertiary technical school, school of arts or university, a graduate from a Czech school, or a holder of a long-term residence permit for the purpose of family reunification. In that case, you have to be unified with a holder of a long-term or permanent residence permit. Don't forget that your main purpose of stay is always studying. Even if you do not need to get any permit to start working, you still need to fulfill some duties to the Ministry of Interior. Within three working days, you must notify the Ministry of Interior about starting a job, if you change your employer or your job role, or if you start another job. Here are some tips where to look for a job. You have to get a permit if you are a student under 26 years old enrolled in student exchange programs supported by the Czech Republic, a trainee, an individual with short-term or long-term visa. Since getting a permit is more complicated, please consult with professionals. I will tell you where to get free help in a minute. Before that, I will briefly mention doing business. Anyone can start doing business while studying. Visit businessinfo.cz. 
which is an official webpage administered by the Ministry of Industry and Trade, and it contains all the necessary information about how to start doing a business, the webpage is also available in English. And finally, let's talk about where to find reliable information and get help if needed. I have already mentioned the official website of the Ministry of Interior. You can also find detailed information on the webpage called Prague for All. Visit a section I need to arrange where you will find detailed information about visas, permits, work, doing business, healthcare and more. This general information is useful also for people not located in Prague. Also, check out the app called Prager. It contains basic information about life in Prague, important contacts and overview map of institutions. Do you still have questions about your documents or how to extend your stay here? Or do you need help finding a job? In that case, go to the section called For Migrants. You will find contacts on non-governmental organizations where you can get professional legal and social advice, which is free of charge. I also recommend visiting the website of integration centers where you can get legal and social counseling. You will find one not only in Prague, but also in Hradec Králové and Pilsen. To conclude, let me welcome you at Charles University again.